So to me, it comes from the top down. You must have a CEO that understands and appreciates the value of marketing. And if you don't, go work somewhere else. <laughs> so good marketing is hard to find. A lot of marketers waste a ton of money doing trade shows and what I would consider very outdated practices that don't actually generate demand and drive revenue. Mm -hmm. So there, there has been a historical, I think, image associated with marketing with, with a department that just spends lots of money. Mm -hmm. So a good marketing department is, should be a demand generation team. That means focused on creating demand not capturing demand, two very, very different things. Mm -hmm. Creating demand is educating the market at scale after you've spent time figuring out where your buyers are going to get information. So for us at Source Day, we spend lots of time talking to customers, talking to prospects, talking to leaders in supply chain. And one of the things I always ask is what social media platform do you use the most for business? And where do you go to get trusted information? Mm -hmm. Those two things are really, really important to know because it's going to tell you where your buyers are going to get their information. Some companies, it may be email. Some companies, it may be TikTok, Insta, Twitter. For us at Source Day, it's LinkedIn. Nine out of 10 people we ask spend more time on LinkedIn for business than any other platform. So what does that tell me as a marketer? We need to invest heavily in LinkedIn, both in organic and paid, leveraging LinkedIn live to host shows and providing useful, relevant content to direct spend buyers in supply chain. So you asked how can sales and marketing align? So again, top down CEO executive team must understand and believe in the value of marketing or you're not gonna get very far. The second thing is working with a CRO or whoever is running the sales team and making sure that you have a working process in place where marketing is focused on demand generation, and then you've got a, a process in place for when the inbounds come in, making sure you're creating qualified inbounds. So one of the biggest challenges or things that happens is marketing goes out and is just capturing as many emails as possible. Most companies call these MQLs. And then they pass that off to the BDR and sales team. So their numbers look great. They're, they're hitting all their monthly targets, but the step that's being missed is the quality piece. No one from marketing is going in and saying, are these people qualified? Are they actually interested in our product? Can they buy? Are they ready to buy? So if you're a marketer, get on the phone and start following up with the inbounds that are coming in. And in a couple of weeks, you will quickly be able to tell if you are bringing in the right type of person. If not, you need to really pivot and reassess the type of people that you're marketing to. And what happens is when you start feeding sales a bunch of crap, they immediately are going to devalue marketing and have no interest in working with you. They're gonna go out on their own, do their own hunting, do their own prospecting therein creates the rub between sales and marketing. Marketing's generating a bunch of crappy inbounds. We don't have time or resources to deal with it. So we're gonna ignore everything that marketing's doing and go doing on our own. So once you as a marketer follow up on the inbounds that you're generating, you're gonna quickly be able to determine the quality. And if it's not quality, you need to pivot and change. You as a marketer start bringing in qualified inbounds, you better believe your sales team is going to like you and get on board pretty quickly. So to me, that's the best and quickest way to align sales and marketing is marketing actually adding value for the sales team and marketing seeing that we marketing is generating 
inbounds that are actually going to help them and that are people that are able and ready to buy. Mm -hmm.